Hi y'all, this is my final project for this class and it's something I am really excited that I have the chance to do. The audience for this project is going to be my second grade class that I will be working with this fall. Uh, the main part of this project is real world problem solving. Students are going to be working in groups to solve real world problems. The students will research and create in a project to inform about how you can keep yourself and others from getting lice. I chose this because over the past two years, lice has been a really big problem in the school that I work at. And we have the nurse and parents and teachers are of course, all frustrated. Um, for this project, the students are gonna be in charge of writing down their own questions to research and ask an interview with the school nurse. Before I let them go and do that on their own, we will do some examples as a class and talk about what a good question consists of. The students are gonna to have to complete research and write their findings in their own words. They're also going to have to find appropriate pictures for their project. They're going to have to create an informational and entertaining video that'll keep the audience listening. They're going to then put their text, photos, and videos together in a final project format. And now again, most importantly, they're going to share in their education with others to help keep others informed as well. For this project, they will need the iPads for research and creating the project. They are going to need the school nurse to interview. They're going to need the projector in the classroom and the airplay to show their video and show the project that they've made. They're going to need the Noteboard app or Google add-on. And I'm also going to provide them with some sample photographs that they could use in their project and also to give them the idea of what a good photograph looks like. This is kind of a sample layout. I'll show the students to describe to them what they need to have. Showing that they can have a video and drawings or pictures. Giving tips, showing myths and facts, or facts about lice and how you get it. Students will be able to format this in their own way. I just want to give them an example set up for them to get them thinking. The objectives are my outcomes for student learnings. I put these in terms that students can understand. So that way they can look up and read the objectives and think, does my project and work help meet these objectives for my learning? So the one is the students will develop questions and conduct an interview with the school nurse. The students will use multiple sources to research and take notes to answer specific questions. The students will create a multimedia presentation that includes video, pictures, and text. The students at the end will have created a multimedia project that displays meaningful information gathered through research in a captivating format. Students are going to have a better understanding of a problem that directly affects the students of our school. Students will be able to use this information that they know to help educate others. And this is overall the outcome that I want for my students. And if they are able to do this and show me this, I'll know that they've met the objectives. My reflection for this project, I think is a great way to think of how I can take what I've learned in this course and transfer it to my classroom. I've gotten to discover more free online applications that I can use for my students, ones that are beneficial and fun to use. I have new ways to integrate technology into my classroom. And my, what I enjoy most is that I have created a project that I can take into my classroom in the fall and use.